So for those of you that know South Coast Plaza, you know one of the entrances into our maze, which is actually quite long right now, is um, here on the bottom floor coming in from Nordstrom. And I am here because my sales associate says she has something special for me. So let's take a look and see what it is. Still waiting to see what's in store, what the surprise is, and what they can't hold any longer. For those of you who have um, had things on your wish list, you may have gotten the call that you have only a certain number of days or hours to come in. That's not unusual. Um, so I thought that I was actually in line for a special order. And then when I asked if I should have someone come help me with a design, she said it's something she's had on hold. So even though I should be excited that there's something maybe on my wish list here, I was still a little bit disappointed admittedly, but um, nevertheless, I'm still waiting to see what they have in store. This store's new. It's in the old Tiffany location at South Coast. And they do tend to have quite a line, um, sometimes four or five hours. So I have an appointment, which is good. So this is the little surprise room at South Coast Plaza. So there's never anything in the shelf that I see. So now we wait for the offer and see what they provide. All right, everybody. So I know uh, that was a little bit of a delay there. So if you walk into um, our maze and you are offered a, um, a quota bag, a Birkin or a Kelly, they are not usually going to let you film the process. I have not had that happen. Um, in fact, uh, oftentimes they kind of look down on my phone, like, can you turn it off? Um, part of the reason is just, it's a special, for our maze, it's a special thing. Like they don't, they're not just handing out quota bags, right? Like candy. So that's part of it. And part of it is they don't want you checking the resale value to make your decision about whether or not you're going to buy. Um, so I get it, but it, it meant that my video kind of cut off when I walked into the special room. Um, but I want to show you what I was able to pick up and then I'll show you why this one is so special. So, um, I, uh, I'll tell you the pros and cons so far. I haven't worn her out him, her, you all say her, I say him. I don't know. Uh, I haven't worn this bag out yet. And, um, so let me show you what he is and, uh, we can take a look together. I have mod. I have tried this on like probably 50 different times and I'll tell you different impressions I've had from people so far just in my home, your family, friends, pictures I've sent uh, people on social media um, just to see what kind of what the reaction is. So let me show you. This is a Birkin size 30, so a B30 uh, touch. It's called a touch. So the idea behind the touch was that we would have leather usually Togo or Epson leather, and a touch of exotic. But this one is really unique in that, as you can see, it is not really a touch of exotic, it's all exotic, right? So this is, is ostrich and crocodile, shiny crocodile. And then the handle is also shiny crocodile. And I will show you, and it's got palladium hardware. And then I will show you the, um, the clochette actually is wrapped in the same um, brown crocodile as the top portion, which is called Mile, M-I-E-L. I've heard that pronounced meal. My associate assured me that it is Mile, so I'm using sticking to that unless someone corrects me otherwise. And I'll share with you some concerns I have about the bag, My, to me the pros and cons. If I would look for a bag like this again, um, and what I'm gonna do, because you, know, you wanna have bags that you absolutely love, um, and I'm not saying I don't love this one. I'm not used to it yet. I'm not used to it. Uh, so here's the clochette and I'll, I'll show you kind of a, a detailed close. It is wrapped in crocodile. So I think that is one of the things that makes this bag really cool, really special, but you don't want to buy a bag over its clochette, right? So, um, 
so here is how the 30, I'm five foot four for reference, about 117 ish pounds. Here's how the 30 looks on. Um, now I am used to my 25. This is my little 25. I'm used to this. So when I see this, this looks normal. I feel um, like it's the right size for me. When I see this, I feel like I'm wearing a bag that will hold my laptop. I know it's only five centimeters, but for me, somehow it feels big. Um, so that's a concern for me. Um, reality is they're really not much different in terms, how can I show you all this, in terms of the width, maybe an inch wider, but it feels like it sticks out a lot more. That might just be the stiffness of the leather. I don't know if ostrich gives, if it eventually starts to feel um, softer, but right now this is a very rigid bag. Um, and that's not, uh, that's not unusual either. So this crocodile is uh, Crocodile du Nil. Um, for those of you who are uh, connoisseurs of the crocodile type. Um, and it's also just like every other crocodile bag, it's not gonna hold up to water. If it starts to rain, run inside, uh, cover it like crazy. <laughs> this is not a water resistant bag. I'm in California, we don't get water. So we don't even get it out of the top half the time. Um, so it's not a problem for um, for me, but for those of you who are in different climates, it's more of an issue. So the ostrich is the color cognac. It looks to me um, like the interior of my car. It also looks like almost a copper, brownish copper color, kind of close to the gold, if it were Togo, kind of close. And then the mile, which is the color of the alligator at the top. Now, let me tell you my concerns about this bag and then you all please share your comments because this, I have been told by numerous people that are experts in this, is an incredibly rare bag. They're usually by special order. In fact, I was told it probably was a returned special order or a rejected special order, rejected special order, but that's not the case. It just, they come in black, purple, and this color. And um, I got lucky, it was my lucky day. So my essay knew that I wanted um, Birkin. I, she knew I wanted a Birkin. She knew I wanted a uh, crocodile or ostrich, and she knew I wanted blue, brown, like goldish color, or black. So this was, she thought, a combination of everything. Now, my ex-husband says, this looks like something uh, from cowboy, for, like a cowboy uh, attire because of the colors and the crocodile. Okay, after he said it, I could kind of see his point. Um, I've also been told it's a perfect neutral, perfect neutral. I can certainly see that point. I've been told it's too big for me, again, you all can tell me what you think. Is it too big? Is it just right? I'll come over here. Is it fine? Is it, what do you think? Um, I don't know. Is it look like I could, I, it feels like I could put my laptop in it. I don't know. Um, one of the things I love about the 30 compared, I don't own any 30s by the way. One of the things I love about the 30 compared to the 25 is that the handles, I mean, for me, I can get it all the way to the top of my bicep, but with the 25, you can get it here, even with skinny wrists. With the 30, I can easily get it up higher. So it's nice to have a bag I can put in the crook of my arm. I was saying I need to turn it around um, so that it's hanging in the right direction. Uh, but I also wonder about the durability because one, the crock handles, they're very slippery, so it falls off your arm easy. So that's point one. If you're looking at buying a touch, that's something to consider. The other thing is I wanna wrap the handles like I do with my 25 with a twilly to protect the handle, right? And also just adds a little pop of color but that's too much for this bag. This bag has a lot going on already. So adding a Twilly, although I did order a couple to look at, seems like too much. Uh, my other concern is the straps going in and out of the leather pieces here, just going in and out. They rub a lot. I don't know how well this bag will wear. Now, I think most of us probably never, well, I don't, and my, my friends and I see online, most people don't actually close this anyway. Maybe it's not an issue. Uh, but if you were to close it, there's a lot of tension between the opening here and the strap. And I can see this sort of crocodile rubbing off here I can and rubbing off, maybe even off of the front over time. So I'm not so sure how well this bag will hold up. Um, so I don't know if I should sell it and get a, a 25 croc or a 25 ostrich um, or if I should keep this bag. And that's been my dilemma since I purchased it and why she's still sitting in the box. Uh, he is still sitting in the box. So what do you think? You love it, hate it, would you keep it? Would you trade it for something else? Do you think it's too big, too small? 
yeah, so I'd love your comments, thoughts. Uh, what would you do? So this is my score at Hermes.